Hi, this is Raymond. Raymond all the way from Ohio. Raymond, Raymond says, Ace and Rich, I'm looking to build my downline. Do I have to join all those mailers or is there a more strategic approach to growing my downline effectively? Very good question. Very good question. Thanks for opening up with that question. <laughs> okay, so Raymond, here's the thing. Um, you don't have to join. There's no like you have to join all these mailers, meaning like there's mailer groups and there's places that you can go online and you can, you know, get on everybody's and subscribe on their list. So that way, you know, you could get on people's email lists and, you know, what's going to happen when you do that, you're going to have an inbox full of junk. Okay. You can get so confused about what to do for your online marketing. And you might even fall into like these buy me traps where you see such great copy that you'll want to buy some stuff. Right. So this is where the discipline comes in, Raymond, where if you want to create what is called a swipe file, okay, if you want to create a swipe file, and you want to study other copywriters and get good at your own email marketing, then I would say, yes, join a couple of those guys, but don't join every single marketer and leader that is in your uh, company. Don't do that because what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of confusion going on. You know, they're marketing their uh, offers as well. And they have their own thing that they're doing. Then you might just get stuck in trying to buy their stuff. But if you just want to build a swipe on, you just want to stop study their ad copy, or you want to study their subject lines, you want to study their body copy, then I would create what is called a separate Gmail account. If you can do that, you know, it's like, we call it the dummy account, right? It's only for copywriters. And what you do is you build this thing out over time. And you start finding these subscribed, uh, you start finding these people who do copywriting, like really great, like Daniel Throssell. I can throw some names out for you. Let me tell you, you know, John Benson, I subscribe to those dudes because they're badass. They're awesome copywriters. They're not affiliate marketers like us. Like, you know, they just do copywriting. That's all they do is all copywriting. And I want to study from them because they actually mentored under the likes of Dan Kennedy. So I want to be able to study these guys. They're great. So I would jump in and I would subscribe to those guys. And I have a separate email account just for me, Ace Guzman. And when I go in there, I study every single thing that they do. And then I think to myself, oh, I have inspiration. I got ideas now. You know, you got like that swipe file that you can go through those, those emails and go, this is what I'm going to send my list today. And I'm going to create something similar. Okay. So as far as like, what's a strategic approach to growing your downline effectively, effective follow-up. In order to grow a downline effectively, you got to get great at following up. Somebody says, heck yeah, right? Follow up, buyer follow up is what I call it. And I talked about this on stage at a live event multiple times. Buyer follow up is essential. If you, if you don't remember me saying this in, in, um, at the live event, you remember when you met me in person, follow up is essential, okay? Within the first 24 hours, if you can possibly make a reach out connection, phone call, email, chat message, whatever you can do to get in touch with that new buyer, get connected with them within the first 24 hours, send them a welcome email, whatever you got to do to get in touch with them and bring them into your world. This is going to be effective follow-up because then they feel like they can reach out and touch someone that is real. They don't have to feel like, oh, I got to send a support ticket every single time. I got a question and this kind of thing. No, you're their enroller. You're their enroller, Raymond. So Raymond, what I'm telling you that's a more strategic approach is the first 24 hours, try to make it a, a, a priority to reach out to your new buyer however way you can. 